my guys welcome back to the channel uh, today's video is about the LED bolts light from custom dynamics now I'm probably gonna title the video Kawasaki H2 custom turn signal um, but this light is so much more than a turn signal you can use it as a brake light you can use it as a daytime running light you could use it as a daytime running light slash turn signal um, but for my purposes today I'm, I'm just using it as a turn signal on the H2SX the turn signals are integrated into the front mirrors and uh, I, I don't want the front mirrors anymore I, I got um, bar end mirrors from Oxford and um, so I took off the mirrors I put on the block off plates well then I don't have any front turn signals so um, I wanted something very seamless and this light is exactly that now uh, custom dynamics really caters I would from looking at their website and going over their products and watching their videos I mean 95% of their business is all Harley and Indian it would seem um, but they do have a handful of products that are universal you could use on sport bikes and touring bikes um, this is definitely one of them so the H2SX is already uh, completely wired for LED um, so this should this is fairly straightforward um, if your bike isn't wired for LED you can get the uh, you can get like the conversions and the connections that you would need from them to be able to wire these lights to your bike so like I said they're very seamless they're clean um, and, and and they look very high quality it's a lifetime warranty so that's that's always says a lot usually about quality in a product so um, with all that being said I'm going to show you what I picked up um, and I'll show you a little bit of what how I wired it um, and then I'll and I'll show you the uh, the aftermath the end product huh all right man let's check it out all right guys here it is so LED bolts from custom dynamics um, so basically the diameter of the light itself is 5 8 uh, you get a it has a four foot uh, lead wire, which is great, you know, to have a long lead on the wire. Um, the mounting hole has to be seven sixteenths, and um, yeah, lifetime LED warranty. The item number for this is two zero four zero dash two five six one, and this is what the light looks like. So as you can see, uh, what you, I mean, it's fairly fairly simple. Um, after you drill your hole into your fairing, first you're going to want to put masking tape down. Mark your fairing, um, put the masking tape over it, mark on your masking tape where you're drilling into the fairing, if that's where you're going to uh, put the turn signal or, or the daytime light or whatever you're using it for. Um, mark your fairing, put the masking tape over the fairing, and then drill your hole. Now, put the masking tape over is very important because you don't want to scar your fairing. You can kind of rough the edge. If you put masking tape over that, you'll get a nice clean hole. Um, this is what I used to drill my hole, and it was perfect. Super easy, too, because you could see the markings on there. I just put it on my impact drill, and on this, I, you just go to, I just drill to a half an inch, stop, peel the tape off, and, and it was and it was perfect um, and here is the uh, the light itself uh, you just I just ran this l wire through the hole and then you have a second locking nut here and then you just push this into the hole this is the this is the 5 8 um, and you just push that into the hole there's also you can see there there's a rubber uh, garment there to protect from any type of water or anything getting inside uh, and then you just ran this up the back on the back side of the fairing and you just screw it you just screw it to the fairing uh, you just screw that down and uh, you're 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 good to go so um, it was really fairly simple uh, and I just took the lead um, the wire from the turn signal ran it down here and then uh, and then just tied them together now that being said, one of the other products that I got from them to make that easy um, was were these, and uh, I didn't even, I mean, I had seen these before, but I, I just didn't even dawn on me to that this was something to use in this type of situation. Normally what I would do is I would just get my wire snips and I would just peel these and then I would just tie them and then get like electrical tape and tape them together. But um, this this thing made it way easier. I just, you, I just basically took my, um, you just take your black wire um, from your turn signal. Because, see, I just wanted the turn signal, so all I wired was just the black and the yellow. 
and and what I did here so for example like this is your black this is you know your negative your positive just took the black wire from the turn signal and this black wire and then all you do is you just take this cap off and then you and you hook it through like that and you take the other black wire from the turn signal and you put it in there and then you see this little spike there well when you when you have them both in here like so and you would have the black wire from the turn signal as well you just close this on it and you just spin it shut and then this spike just connects it that's it um, and then I snipped off the white because I didn't need it and then I did the same thing to the yellow um, uh, on this side and and then I just electrical taped them and then I just zip tied everything up so it was nice clean and neat and put it to the side and um, I can show you that real quick too on the bike what it looks like um, and that was it it was done uh, it was wired to the bike so it doesn't get too much easier than that the product number for this is 2050 dash zero one six six um and and then that was it and i ordered two of these and i ordered uh two of the lights and and i was good to go uh, here's the diagram you'll get for the bolt but you can see if you want it to be um if you want daytime running lights you would connect your white to your white if you want just the yellow the yellow and then of course you have your ground so um it's awesome and easy so uh with all that being said Let's uh, go take a look at uh, what it looks like on the bike and then uh, the uh, final product, huh? Okay guys, I decided to um, add this on here. So this is um, a piece of the fairing panel off of my bike. Um, so like I was saying earlier, I put the masking tape on it. I just used some measuring tape to measure where I want to uh, insert the light. Um, you can see the dot is where I'm going to be um, drilling and you would just do the exact same thing on yours just put the masking tape like I said it kind of protects uh, not leaving like groove lines on the edge of your fairing um, yeah so that's what that looks like okay guys and uh, there it is as you can see nice clean hole uh, like I said I uh, peeled off the masking tape already um, no no rough edges or scar marks around the edge of the fairing um, and so and i know you know i'm sorry i couldn't show you uh so and here's the drill bit i use and like i said i love this thing because it has the measurements and the markments so i needed a half inch hole you just get to the half inch mark stop and you're good to go um i would love to show you do as i you know doing it um but it's i'm a one-man show here so um you know it's very hard to multitask <laughs> drilling a hole in the fairing and um, you know, not wanting to screw it up. So what you would want to do is uh, pull light in like that. And there you go. See how flush it is? Nice and clean. Um, I already have one of these done on the bike. And I'll show you the after, uh, the after, you know, the done product. Um, and it's very seamless. You can't even, you really can't even see the light on there. And that's what I was shooting for. You're going to slide the locking nut down on the other side. And voila, and you would just spin it tight, just like that. Nice and clean. Like I said, it has a rubber garment there too, so it makes it even more snug. Um, so the light fixture is not bumping up against the, the fairing. Um, yeah, there she is. So uh, let's go over to the bike and I'll show you what I was talking about, clamping the wires together and then we'll show you the final product. All right, guys, and so this is kind of this is just the uh, what you would have to do to wire it. So you got your negative. Um, here's the light. Uh, that's the bike's turn light, turn signal light, and here is the bolts LED light. You're gonna take. You would take your negative to your negative, and like I said, instead of splicing them and cutting everything together, I'm just gonna take them side by side. You take your little. A little nut you just you just slide them both in there together and I'm trying to do this without shaking the bike because the camera is balancing on the tank <laughs> and that's it right there they're now uh, they're now together and so what I'll do is I'll connect the positives and then I'll clip off the ends 
And then I like to take a little piece of electrical tape and just wrap it around. And then um, I'll take the rest of the excess cord, I'll tie it together and we'll just zip tie it off. Okay guys, and then that's what it looks like finished. So after you, you know, you uh, push the wires together, you, uh, I take a little piece of electric tape and on each cap, I put just a little tiny piece around it um, after I've trimmed it and it's clean. And then I take a um, one piece of electrical tape and I just like to hook them together so it's nice and tight. Um, everything's together and then I will just fold it all up and zip tie it and like I said I'll just zip tie it onto an inside uh, lead wire. Um, the other thing too when you run this wire up or in any bike just make sure you're away from any of like the mechanical stuff so when you're moving your wheels or I'm sorry your steering wheel that you're not going to it's not going to get caught that's why you want to make sure you zip tie it and put it to the side clean. The other thing too is you're going to want to make sure that you're not touching anything um, like your um, you know, you're not touching anything that's going to get hot. Um, so, you know, like, for example, like your radiator or something like that. Um, you don't want your cord just hanging loose in there. And uh, and then, you know, it's in there touching it and then it just melts. And then all of a sudden your turn signal don't work anymore. So um, just things to keep in mind as you're uh, doing this project on any motorcycle. All right. All right guys, and there she is, the finished product. So removing the mirrors, adding the custom turn signals. And uh, as you can see, this is exactly what I was trying to achieve. I wanted nothing outside the circumference of the body. So a very streamlined, clean look. And uh, I, I love it. I'm so happy that I did this. So there's the Brock's uh, block off plates. And then I, there's the Oxford mirrors. And then there is the LED bolts turn signal. Um, when you get to the side profile, it's almost non-existent. Um, and that's really what I wanted. Just a real clean look. Um, I will also add, a uh, when it gets a little darker, I'll add what it looks like um, in the night. Um, I, I could even show you what it looks like in the, you know, in the evening, in the day. Um, And you can see there. And obviously in the day, it's not crazy bright, but I'm okay with that. Like this is, um, we're literally, the sun is right facing directly, face, the bike is facing the sunlight. So I'm more than happy with that. In the night, it literally will light up the whole ground um, to the side I'm turning. And that's probably where it counts most is at night. So anyways, I'm super happy that uh, the way it came out. If you have any questions, um, just uh, leave them down in the comments. Be happy to get back to you. Okay, guys, and uh, this is what it looks like at night. We'll do the uh, emergency flashers so that you can see both sides. That's what it looks like. Very bright. You're gonna see that easy from all angle. Take care.